Welcome to this video. Uh, a very happy and sad moment at the same time. Happy because we're sitting here with Jose Manuel Garcia Verdugo, who was the medical chef at Buchinger Wilhelmi Marbella since 40 years. And sad because the occasion is that he will leave us after a lifetime uh, dedicated to fasting. For those who don't know us, I'm Victor Wilhelmi, and this is Katharina Rohr. We're uh, the fourth generation of the direction of the clinic in Marbella and um, are happy to, to interview now uh, Jose Manuel Garcia Verdugo. So we would just like to start a little bit. How was it when you first heard of Buchinger? What was the first uh, contact with, with the clinic? One day your grandfather was coming because he was used to come like one a month or twice a month and he wants to, to contact me. So I came here and we have an interview. We were having a coffee in Mariposa. We we're talking about everything unless medicine. <laughs> and I explained to him that it was in the uh, uh, naval base in, in, in Rota. So I was there two days in duty and then 10 at home. So he decided that in these days that I was at home, I can come here to get in touch with the method, with the people. And so that's why I began in the 6th of January of uh, 1981 and it was my my first day here and since that well I, I never thought I will spend the whole life here as many of the people we were here and finally well it's time to to go home again and to leave the, the new generation with new people that has been passing through four generations in the clinic and slowly, slowly it was growing up and then we were introducing so many things and finally we got what we have now. We are leaders in the, uh, in the uh, world about fasting and treating people, trying to, to show them how to live in a, in a good way, in a healthy way. Mm -hmm. So I always, when they ask me, what are you doing there? I always say, we are like a health school. People come here to heal not only the body, but also the soul. Because as, as we always say, you know, when you come here, you have the, uh, the power in your hands. We are just helping you to, to, to find a way. But you have to change yourself with your inner power, what you want to do with your life. Yeah, what we call the empowerment, no? Exactly. The empowerment of the people. Yeah, exactly. Uh, then we would like to know, when was your first fast and how, how did you live the experience? Well, no. uh, immediately when I arrived here, I decided to fast. These 10 days that yeah. I was uh, not working. And because if you don't know how people will feel it, you cannot work on that. So immediately I make a fasting here and it was so easy for me. And it was very curious because since I was uh, a kid, I was suffering from hypoglycemia. Mm -hmm. I remember at school, if I was not eating early, suddenly I feel very tired, trembling, perspiring. And since my first fasting, I control completely my pancreas and I never more suffer from um, hypoglycemia. I saw immediately all the benefits of fasting, how people were changing so much his own uh, illnesses and you know, when you try fasting, it's like the same with the patients, you know. The first time you perhaps, is it your scale of it? What is going to happen to me when I'm not eating? And then when you feel so well and you see how many changes you make, then you get in love. Yeah. It's a love forever. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, a love for life. Yeah, we, we have also been your patients, so uh, I remember that um, that you really, you, you find a very personalized recommendation for each patient, and you can really, you convince them truly. So uh, I would like to know, what was your most common recommendation, like something that fit for all patients going through fasting during the 40 years? Listen to the body. You have to listen to your body in each moment, and if one day you're tired, then you make a lazy day. If you have a lot of energy, you do more. If you are sad, you have to cry. If you're happy, you have to sing. And here we offer you all the possibilities, mm -hmm. what you will need. Mm -hmm. From relaxing to very active life, from art. I always recommend very much the, the art activities because when you fast, you, you can play with colors. You can do things that you never did before. And, and each, each pa patient is completely different. I think this is the, 
why we are so successful. Because when you come here, you are not treated like a number. You feel that you are unique. And this is one of our strong points. And as we see each other very regularly, especially before, the people used to come two weeks, three weeks, and really you have time to sit down and then to be in fasting and to begin, because when you begin to eat again, sometimes you feel very, very sad. Mm -hmm. I always remember your, your grandma saying, you know, we put the apple the day we break the fast because it's when we throw out from the paradise. Yeah. It's, um, I say always to everybody, you know, it's something that every person should try at least one in, in his mm -hmm. life. No, completely agree. Um, I would like to ask you also a little bit about um, some medical case studies. Uh, you know, like I've seen in the four years that we've been um, directors at this clinic, I've seen people come in wheelchairs and then after two, three weeks, you know, they, their inflammation went down, they could stand up. People who had, you know, grievances that did like emotional processes, people that could like um, decrease their number of pills, you know. Do you have like maybe two, three cases that you have in on the top of your head where you say like, wow, this was really a, I've, the change there I saw was really. You know, the whole, the whole time we, we, we saw that and, and that's why, yeah, that's why I, I have so many people in mind that I cannot tell you that. <laughs> but what you say is sometimes you have people arriving here nearly not moving and after 10 days fasting, because these people used to have a long period, because uh, really when you are ill, you cannot do 10 days, it's impossible. Mm. I always say, you know, if you have a serious illness, minimum three weeks, and that, that people we see. I remember we have a client from Mexico, the first time she was coming, she was on a, a arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, she couldn't move the hands, she was uh, walking very, and she's coming every year and since the first fasting she was stopping all the corticoids and she was, I remember she was crying because she was moving the hands, you know, for her and, and uh, for, for me it's an emotion, you know, when you, when you ask, you tell them that that will happen and, and happened. Mm -hmm. And people, you know, with diabetes, with high blood pressure and with a lot of medicaments and when you see they stop everything and, and everything is going in a normal average, so really you feel very well in some you know some specialities of medicine are very sad like uh, your oncology that many of the people die or but here everybody's happy mm -hmm. if they will lose weight they will they feel pretty they uh, they are uh, all the chemistry is fantastic at the end they have good weather <clears throat> so it's very positive yeah, yeah. I mean, I, we, we've also seen, no, in the, in the few years we've been here, we've seen, uh, for example, yeah, cases of what you said, no, of a woman sitting in the wheelchair at the beginning. She has been here uh, recently as well from Ireland, I think. And I mean, for her, it was a miracle. No, it sounds like a miracle, but it's all within our nature, no? It's all within mm. within the fasting uh, process, no, that happened in the body. And you spoke also about the, the th new methods and things that you introduced while you were here. Can you tell us about some of them? When I came here, it was a small house with about 50, 60 maximum patients. And it was only fasting, readaptation, and nearly nothing more. We had no dietitian at that time, so when I arrived, I saw that we have many patients like diabetic patient, patient with uh, stomach problems, intestine, and they should have special diets. In that time in the kitchen, Maria and the girls there, they were, could not read and, and write. So they were having all in, in, in the head, it was extraordinary. So I begin to do all this, preparing all the diets, making all the papers, controlling the kitchen, controlling the, the, the massage department with Mr. Montoro, with two girls, Ana Maria and Manoli, it was a book, all by hand with a pen, and everything was very simple, but very kind and very happy. Mm -hmm. All the patients, they say, what happened here? Everybody is smiling, <laughs> but it's not smiling for uh, public relation way. It's, it's coming from the... the and they, they, and I remember at that time, there uh, was a, a gentleman who was the, the one who was making all the works, and he was always singing flamenco. 
And the, the patient from Germany, they were very happy when he was singing flamenco. You know, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it was fantastic, Pepe. And, and then slowly we're introducing many things. And then I bring from Germany, Krista Luckert, who was the first nutritionist here. And then and that was growing and growing and growing. And we were very successful. Uh, and of course, from 50 uh, employees to 100, to, uh, till 240 that we have now is a... You know, I am so thankful to, to all of you. You know, since I, I told the other day when we have a dinner with the nurses and my old staff, I said, never, never in my life I have no here. Anything I was asking for, everybody was helping me, always, never. And you see how difficult it is to find that nowadays in any other works. Mm. And we feel like a, a big family. We help one each other when anybody has a problem. We are all like a... Uh, and this thing, I think for, for a work, this is very important. If you feel happy and you feel in touch with the people you, 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 you work, is something extraordinary. And if we lose that, we will lose the essence of the uh, of the clinic. Yeah, I think that's a good closing <laughs> closing sentence. Thanks a lot Thank uh, for also for preparing, for keeping, for maintaining this over so many decades. And um, yeah. So I'm sure my life will be completely different if I was not working here. Yeah. and I really have so many good friends and I have been learning so much from my patients now most of them really friends then I only can say thank you thank you Jose Manuel pleasure <laughs>